Oh my gosh, I'm wearing the exact same clothes as I did yesterday. What the hell? That's crazy. Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. As I said yesterday, I was going to do a another unboxing. And this is a new box set, just like the Yes one. And I will show it to you now. I think a lot more people will enjoy this than the uh, the Yes one. Um, at the time of me filming this, I have no idea what people have said about it. But I'm excited to find out. So I will be showing you guys the new Emerson, Lake and Palmer Out of This World live box set. I have the CD version of this in Brighton, but we decided to get the vinyl version for the house here because my dad likes ELP and I also like ELP and he wanted to hear this box set quite a lot. So I didn't think it was fair that we just had the CD one because the CD one's in Brighton. So we got the vinyl one. So... This is a new box set, and by new I mean it's been released, you know, in the last, like, months or couple of months. Um, this retails for about £120, which, for what you get in this box set, is astounding. That is an astounding price. You get five albums, all of which are double albums, and you get a full colour booklet and everything. But I will show you the albums now. It comes with five, and that is the that is the there. It's, it's more like a slipcase than a box. That is the back. Just gives you the track listing and what comes inside the box. So we'll start with the first one here, which is the Isle of Wight Festival from 1970. This was actually their debut performance. Um, and this is the gatefold. And as I mentioned, it's got two, two LPs in there. And the set list is amazing on this i love this it's mainly pictures at an exhibition and um bits and pieces from the first album as i said this is like their first debut that's the same that means the same thing this is their debut concert so quite quite the crowd to have for your first ever gig you know <coughs> as i said yesterday i'm still recovering from a cold so bear with me if i cough throughout the video it's probably something you don't really want to hear because i wouldn't want to hear it on a video either Next one is the California Jam from 1974. I've actually seen clips of this from YouTube. Um, I know a bunch of other bands that I really like played at this festival as well, like Black Sabbath and Deep Purple and some other bands as well. Um, there is the Gatefold. And as I mentioned before, you also get two LPs in here. This has, so this is 1974, so you'll have a lot of stuff from probably Brain Salad Surgery and all that, yeah. So we got stuff from the first album. We got Take a Film, obviously, Piano Improv, Carnival 9, First Impression Part 2, and Third Impression. Um, short set list, because obviously it's a festival, so you don't really get a long one unless you're headlining. But this is amazing. I I do love this. I love the um, cover as well. It's very cool. The um, uh, armadillo at the bottom. So the next one, skipping a few years to 1977, this is the Works Live Tour. That is a cool picture. I really like the gatefold for this one. And obviously they're going to be playing the entirety of works from here, I believe. Um, yeah, there's still stuff from previous albums. Um, they play a lot of stuff from pictures and exhibition, but a lot of it is a lot of the first side and second side of stuff from works, volume ones and one and two. Um, this is stuck in here, but that is the cover. I really like the cover for this one as well. Now we're going to fast forward about 20 years, <laughs> 20 odd years, to 1992, where they played at the Royal Albert Hall. My dad actually saw them at the Royal Albert Hall, but not in this date. He saw them in the mid-70s. Um, this has got stuff from, obviously, their first album, Back, which was Black Moon. Um, this has got some stuff from that as well. Obviously, it's got Targets, it's got the classics, you know, Knife Edge, uh, Still You Turn Me On, Lucky Man, Fanfare for the Common Man, etc. That is cool. I've actually never seen a concert at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, I think I had the chance to at one point, but I just didn't go. It's like one of the few venues here, like famous venues here in, in England that I've just never been to. Um, but this is an amazing um, cover as well. This is like oil painted and everything. It's absolutely stunning. And finally, we have 1997. So this is, I think, I'm pretty sure this could be like a reunion tour or something because uh, 
in the hot seat was 1994, I believe, so I think they didn't do anything up until this, this live concert, uh, but I could be sorely mistaken. That is the gatefold, and this has got some good stuff on it, you know, all the classics again. Um, Tarkas, Pictures and Exhibition, Fanfare for the Common Man. They even play 21st Century Schizoid Man and America. That's the last, uh, there's the last two songs on side four. Obviously, Bitches Crystal, Take a Pebble, Lucky Man, as I said, Carnival 9, Touch and Go, which is the um, Emerson, Lake and Powell track, which I really like as well. So that is that one. And as I said, you get a whole book with it, with, you know, lots of photos. Oh, shoot. Photos from the events and all that interesting stuff. Oh, there's the one I just showed. Yeah, so it's a picture booklet of the, the gigs. From 1970 to, seven, uh, to 97. So, as I said, I do believe this is worth the money because nowadays something like this would probably be sold at record store, on record store day for like 30 odd pounds. So, you know, you got four sides on five albums. So, if you do the maths, let's say this is 25 pounds, you know, it, it adds up pretty well. You know, because it's five albums, so it would be around 125, and we paid about 100, between 115 and 120, but it's amazing. Amazingly priced, in my opinion, especially for a vinyl box set. Usually vinyl box sets really cost an arm and a leg. Um, and I don't really collect as much vinyl at the moment, unfortunately, because I'm not here. And all the vinyl that I will buy in Brighton will sit in my flat and and then i have to carry it all home and vinyl is heavy um but yeah good value for money definitely recommend it if you are an elp fan um if you have the fanfare box set this is also a good follow-up to have because you know in the fanfare box set you've got all of the um all of the albums and then you've got these because there's not uh the live albums that they put in the fanfare box set the ones that aren't just uh, welcome back my friends are um, not the same as the ones in here so you do get different music in this box set so i think it's great to have both personally um but yeah let me know if you have this box set and if you do do you like it i've not had a chance to delve into it yet whoops um but hopefully i will maybe this evening or tomorrow if i don't post another video merry christmas um have a lovely holidays if you don't celebrate christmas and I will see you around some point after Christmas. I want to do something, I will probably do something quick on the 26th, because that is the anniversary of my YouTube channel. So you can expect something like that to come around. And yeah, I've got a lot of other box sets to do unboxings about and some other bits and pieces to show you guys. So stick around. I know I don't upload as much anymore, but I am still alive. I'm just very, very occupied with university and all that stuff trying to celebrate christmas and also do university work it's very very stressful um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye